Arthur Lee, 1st Viscount Lee of Fareham, Wikipedia article audio. Arthur Hamilton Lee, 1st Viscount Lee of Fareham, GCB, GCSI, GBE, PC, was an English soldier, diplomat, politician, philanthropist and patron of the arts. After military postings and an assignment to the British Embassy in Washington, he retired from the military in 1900. He entered politics, was first elected in 1900, and later served as Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries and First Lord of the Admiralty following the First World War. He donated his country house, Checkers, to the nation as a retreat for the Prime Minister, and co-founded the Courtauld Institute of Art. Arthur Hamilton Lee was born at the Rectory, Bridport, Dorset in 1868. His father was rector of the town's Anglican Street, Mary's Church. He was a grandson of Sir John Theophilus Lee, who was a midshipman was present at the Battle of the Nile. After attending Cheltenham College, Lee entered the Royal Military Academy, Woolwich. He was commissioned into the Royal Artillery as a second lieutenant on February 17, 1888. He was posted to the Far East, China, as adjutant of the Royal Hong Kong Regiment. He was promoted lieutenant on February 18, 1891. He returned to England in 1891, and was stationed on the Isle of Wight for the next two years. On August 18, 1893, at the age of 24, Lee became a professor of strategy and tactics, at the Royal Military College of Canada, in Kingston, Ontario, with the local rank of captain. Since only 11 to 30 cadets annually entered the college in those days, Lee would have instructed only about 140 cadets in his five years at the college, consisting of cadet numbers 320 to 457. Cadet No. 433, future Major General Thomas Victor Anderson, DSO, a future Chief of Staff of the Canadian Army, recalled that Lee was known around the Royal Military College as the Nipper, which the cadets christened him because he used to sing George Grossmith's songs with gusto. He enjoyed riding and walking and winter across the ice to Wolf Island, and to town. He was a regular attendant at Street. George's Cathedral to hear Dean Buxton Smith. When Colonel Gerald Kitson, KRRC, became RMC Commandant in 1897, Captain Lee came to live with the Kitsons in the Commandant's residence. In 1894, Lee initiated a military survey of the Canadian frontier and supervised its progress until its completion in 1896. During the summer of 1897 he was a special correspondent for the London Daily Chronicle, covering the earlier stages of the Klondike Gold Rush, based on his travels to Alaska and the Yukon. In 1900, when Lee resigned as British military attaché in Washington, D.C., Colonel Kitson resigned as commandant of RMC to take over the Washington Post vacated by Lee. He did not receive substantive promotion until the completion of his RMC appointment on April 18, 1898. He became the British military attaché with the United States Army in Cuba during the Spanish-American War, later in 1898. He received the U.S. Campaign Medal, was made an honorary member of the 1st U.S. Volunteer Cavalry, the famous Roosevelt's Rough Riders, and met Theodore Roosevelt. On January 28, 1899 Lee, who was still not 30 years old, was appointed military attaché at the British Embassy in Washington, with the temporary rank of lieutenant colonel. Although he would have preferred to have been on active service in South Africa, since the Boer War had just started, Lee enjoyed the challenging diplomatic assignment. On December 23, 1899, Lee married Ruth Moore, daughter of New York banker John Godfrey Moore. He had first met Ruth Moore at parties in Kingston and Gananoque, and had taken her to balls at the Royal Military College, Kingston. Ruth was left a substantial inheritance after her father's death shortly before the wedding. Lee was promoted brevet major on August 8, 1900, returned to regimental duty on August 22, 1900, and retired from the Army on December 12, 1900. In 1900, Lee returned to England and embarked upon a political career. He was elected as a Conservative Member of Parliament for the Hampshire constituency of Fareham in the 1900 general election while still a regular officer. He represented Fareham for the next 18 years until his elevation to the peerage. He served as Civil Lord of the Admiralty from 1903 to 1905 under William Palmer, 2nd Earl of Selborne. 
He also continued military service during this period as a member of the volunteer force. The resignation of Arthur Balfour as Conservative Prime Minister in favor of Liberal leader, Henry Camel Bannerman, in 1905 and the defeat of the Conservative Party in the elections of 1906 and 1910 postponed Lee's further office for a decade. He was chairman of the Parliamentary Aerial Defense Committee, from 1910 to 1914. He was also introduced the Criminal Law Amendment Act 1912. At the beginning of World War I, Lee served as Lord Kitchener's personal commissioner to report on the Army Medical Services in France, with the rank of Temporary Colonel. From October 1915 he served David Lloyd George at the Ministry of Munitions, and followed him to the War Office in 1916. He was appointed Knight Commander of the Order of the Bath on July 12, 1916. On June 8, 1917, with Lloyd George now Prime Minister, Lee became Director General of Food Production under Roland Prothero as President of the Board of Agriculture and Fisheries. Having then left the Army he was permitted to retain the honorary rank of Colonel. He was recognized for his work on January 1, 1918, being appointed Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the British Empire. He was elevated to the peerage on July 9 that year as Baron Lee of Fareham, of Checkers in the County of Buckinghamshire, shortly before he resigned as Director General of Food Production after disagreements with Prothero. He then became a member of the House of Lords. Lee joined the Cabinet and the Privy Council in August 1919 when he was appointed Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, succeeding Prothero. He became First Lord of the Admiralty on February 18, 1921, and was selected as a second British delegate to attend the Washington Naval Conference, along with Arthur Balfour, later that year. He resigned from Lloyd George's government in 1922, and was promoted to Viscount Lee of Fareham, of Bridport in the county of Dorset, on December 9 that year. Conservative Prime Ministers Bonner Law and Stanley Baldwin, along with Labour Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald, all benefited substantially from Viscount Lee's dedicated work during the decade of the 1920s, as Lee was not content to rest upon his laurels in the House of Lords. He went on to chair royal commissions on the civil service in India, London Cross River Traffic, and Police Powers and Procedure. He was also chair of the Radium Commission and of the Committee on Police Pay and Pensions. He was appointed Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India on January 1, 1925, and he was promoted Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Bath in the 1929 King's Birthday Honours. He was also appointed Knight of Grace in the Venerable Order of St. John on June 20, 1930. Lee and his wife took on a long lease of checkers, a country house and 1,000-acre estate in Buckinghamshire, in 1909. The Lees bought the property in 1912 after the owner died, and began restoration. In 1917, they gave the estate, and the entire contents of the house which included a library, historical papers and manuscripts and a collection of Cromwellian portraits and artifacts, in trust to the nation to be used as the official residence and retreat of successive British Prime Ministers in perpetuity, enabled by the Chequers Estate Act 1917. The Lees left the property in January 1921, and Lloyd George was the first Prime Minister to use the property. After furnishing Chequers, Lee began a second collection. He gained the financial backing of Samuel Courtauld and Joseph Duveen, and established the Courtauld Institute of Art with the University of London. The Institute, the first to offer degrees in the history of art in Britain, opened in 1932 with William George Constable as its director at Lee's request. Also with Courtauld, he persuaded the University of London to accept the transfer of the Wardberg Institute from Hamburg, it was loaned to him prior to its re-establishment in 1944. He also donated a silver collection and other objects to Hard House, at the University of Toronto in Canada in 1940. Additionally, in the 1920s Lee was a trustee of the Wallace Collection and of the National Gallery. He served as chairman of the latter in 1931 too, and was a member of the Royal Fine Art Commission from May 26, 1926 until his death. Between 1917 and 1939 Lee was president of Cheltenham College. Lee wrote his autobiography, entitled A Good Innings in 1941, and this was privately published in three volumes that year. It was later republished by his good friend Alan Clark, also a conservative politician, for publishers J. Murray in 1974. Lee died at Old Quarries, 
a grade II listed building in Avenue, Gloucestershire, in 1947. Lee had no children and his Viscountcy became extinct upon his death. His widow, Viscountess Lee, presented to the Royal Military College of Canada Museum a silver-headed walking stick of her late husband, which he had used daily at RMC 54 years earlier. The stick has two silver bands listing the places where Lee served, or visited, between 1888 and 1904, which include the Royal Military College of Canada. Lady Lee also presented the RMC Museum with three photographs of Lord Lee, two of them taken in Kingston, one in uniform in 1893, and the other in 1896 wearing a checked suit, silver-topped stick in hand. The third is a photograph of the portrait by Herbert James Gunn in full regalia of a Knight Grand Cross of the Most Honorable Order of the Bath.